And then also, I want to ask you guys, what uh, made you guys decide to get certified? What was the motivated factor behind you guys taking the certification initially? For me, it was the credibility. That that was that was huge. I wanted to be able to show that this isn't like a hobby. That we're a real company. That we have uh, we have you know a team here. That it's we're, we're you know we're certified in, um, and we have a legitimate business in the U.S. and in Colombia, so that the, the patients feel that that you know this is this is legit. And so that was just uh, on our website, something we really wanted to be able to showcase. And that way people feel more comfortable uh, wanting to, to work with us. Absolutely. And then Ruby, you as well? Well, yeah, I wanted to get certified. I wanted to go through the course and just learn everything that I, you know, I didn't know. And um, I wanted to make sure that I knew what the patients expected, maybe some of their fears and uh, just, you know, learn how to take care of them before the trip, during the trip, after the trip. Um, and like Dennis said, I wanted that credibility. I wanted to uh, make sure that um, my patients know that I took the time and spent some money to take this course to be certified so I could take better care of them. Um, and, you know, uh, also I think it just sets me apart personally from my local competition here. I haven't seen on anybody's websites or social media that they've been certified by any program. So I think, um, you know, that'll set me apart. Absolutely. No, I definitely agree with that. Investing in yourself, uh, uh, prospects definitely look at that to make sure you're certified, making sure you have that credibility. So I agree with that. Um, also, do you feel like it, it met your, uh, your expectations as far as what you were trying to achieve taking the, the, the course? Uh, did it did it uh, meet your expectations as far as your learning goals? Um, you know things of that nature. Uh, yes, absolutely, it did. I was uh, I, I was surprised with a lot of the stats, um, <clears throat> so many things I didn't know, and uh, I'm really glad that I took the time to invest in the, in the course to to help me learn and to you know help me min um, minimize the risk from not saying oh I I didn't know and then you know so with everything you taught there. It helps protect us, especially the contracts. That was one of the main things that I, it really intrigued me because I didn't have to go and hire an expensive attorney and and have them, you know, write all this stuff up. And at the same time, not knowing if the attorney really knows about the medical industry, tours, uh, tourism industry. And uh, so this was a, a big a big factor for us. Absolutely. And then also, Ruby, if you can expand on that, if if, if you like. Yeah, so um, this medical tourism business course definitely answered the questions that I had, but there was so many um, topics on there that I hadn't even thought about. Um, you know, I really wanted to reduce uh, my liability and I just learned so much on the course. Um, it taught me my responsibility as a facilitator um, so just everything that I, you know, that a patient would expect from me, um, again, like Dennis said, learning the stats, you know, that kind of got me pumped up because I'm like, oh my gosh, like look at all of these other services that we could team up with and hotels and tour guides and restaurants. And, um, I think the whole wellness tourism is, you know, it's going to explode, um, I think people don't just want to go on, you know, booze cruises or partying in Cancun anymore. They want to travel with purpose and travel with meaning and mental health means so much. So I'm working on touring up with some wellness um, uh, tourism advisors here too. Wow. So it definitely met my expectations and more. Absolutely. And I think that's a great point you brought up. I mean, one thing we really try to emphasize in the course is how medical tourism facilitators uh, can maximize uh, their profits when, when they're building the business, right? Because the, the bigger your business is, the more patients you can help, the more clients you can obtain and help. Um, so, yeah, we try to focus on, uh, you know, different ways that you can you can increase your revenue on an annual basis. So, yeah, that's a good point you brought up there as well, Ruby. Now, I, I know both of you guys said there's, there was a lot of information in there, a lot of stats. Uh, do you feel like it was easy to follow as far as the course? And, and Dennis, I'll, follow, uh, uh, I'll start with you. Do you feel like it was easy to follow along in the course and easy to obtain information? Yes, definitely. It was, it was, I, I've done a lot of studying and a lot of courses and, and this was, this was uh, very easy. The flow, um, the way it was all structured was, was very easy to learn. So 
uh, I was thankful for that. I didn't have to keep going back and repeating and repeating. It was very, very clear and to the point. Definitely. And then Ruby, if you'd like to expand. Yeah, well, Dennis said he, you know, took a lot of courses. I personally didn't find a lot of courses. Maybe, you know, there's a, a, a few that I, I saw and I did get some books um, and, you know, they were boring or they got really, really in depth into, you know, the medical field. I felt mm -hmm. like I had to have some type of medical degree to read these um, books, but um, your the medical tourism uh, business course was it was in layman's terms. It was easy to understand. Um, I like the step by step process, um, and it wasn't boring because there was videos, there was charts, um, and the whole sequence was just really impressive. Definitely, I was I was going to ask you guys what what part of the course you guys found most valuable, but you guys you know pretty much laid out a lot of different uh, parts on that. Um, so I, I think that the, the viewers will be able to understand, you know, what, what you guys found the most valuable. 